Hey there, my name is Andy, and welcome back to our series on subject-verb agreement. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a bat cave. No, not the bat cave you're probably thinking of. I'm talking about Bracken Cave in San Antonio, Texas. Every year from March to October, 20 to 40 million, yes, million bats roost and breed in Bracken Cave. It is the largest gathering of mammals on planet Earth. And this gathering of bats is often referred to as a colony of bats or a cauldron or my personal favorite, a cloud. What does this have to do with the SAT and ACT? Well, when you refer to this group of bats as a colony, cauldron, or cloud, you are using a collective noun. And that is our topic for today. Okay, let's jump in. A collective noun is a noun that refers to a group or collection of people, animals, objects, or things as a single entity. So for example, a college basketball team is a collective noun because it represents a single unified entity that's made up of multiple individuals. You have the players, the coaches, the support staff, but they're all working together towards a common goal, success on the court. And while there are many people involved, they function as one singular cohesive unit. So our first rule for today is that a collective noun is always a singular noun. So when you have a collective noun as your subject, we know that we have a singular subject and therefore we need a singular verb. So our second rule for today is that if your subject is a collective noun, then your verb must be singular. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you and your friends or your family get tickets to see your favorite comedian perform. And you're sitting there in the audience and every single person is just laughing and laughing. You could say the people in the audience were laughing wildly at the comedian's joke. In that case, our subject is the people, which is plural, and therefore we have a plural verb, were laughing. But what if I wanted to refer to all the people just as the audience? Well, in that case, the audience is a collective noun, and therefore we need a singular verb. So the sentence becomes, the audience was laughing wildly at the comedian's joke. Now that we have a better understanding of how subject-verb agreement works with collective nouns, let's do some practice with questions generated by ACIT's AI. Okay, a flock of geese fly over the lake every morning. What is our subject? You might be thinking it's geese, which is plural, but you would be wrong. The subject is actually the word flock which is a collective noun representing all of the geese that are flying together. So now that we know that we have a collective noun, which we know is always a singular noun, we have a singular subject. So let's get go through and just get rid of every single plural option choice that there is. So first of all, we know that fly, the answer choice that's already in our sentence, is not correct because fly is plural. B flies, we see that S there. So we know that it is in fact singular. So that could be our choice, but remember we wanna look at every single option. Flying doesn't quite make sense grammatically within this sentence. So we're just gonna get rid of it. And flown, again, when we look at how that fits within our sentence, it's not exactly grammatically correct. If you're confused about why C and D are not the correct answer choice, please refer back to our previous video where we talked about verb tenses. Now that we've gotten rid of A, C, and D, we know that B, flies, is our correct choice. So a flock of geese flies over the lake every morning. The council, in addition to concerned citizens, have voiced strong objections to the proposed zoning changes. What is our subject? You might be thinking that it's the council and the citizens, or that it's just the citizens. So we have a plural subject, but that is incorrect. The phrase, in addition to concerned citizens, is a prepositional phrase that does not have anything to do with our subject verb agreement. 
It's an interrupting phrase. And what that means is that if you crossed out that part of the sentence, it wouldn't impact the overall meaning or message of the rest of the sentence. So if we get rid of it, we would still have the council have voiced strong objections to the proposed zoning changes. So that little prepositional phrase is unnecessary. Our subject is the council, which is a collective noun and therefore singular. So we're going to go through and just get rid of immediately any verb that's plural. So a, have, have is a plural verb, so it does not agree with our subject. So a is out. B, were, were is plural. So B is also out. C, has, has is in fact singular. So this could be our answer choice. And D, was was is also singular. So now we have two possible answer choices. So let's look at C in a bit more detail. Has voiced is in the present perfect tense. So we have the present tense of the auxiliary verb have, which is has, and it is with the past participle of the main verb, which in this case is voiced. That's correct. That sounds really correct. So I would choose C, but if I wanted to just make absolutely certain that D is not the right answer choice, I would take a little bit of a closer look at it. So we're saying the council was voiced. Now, was is singular, but it's grammatically incorrect in this context. So was indicates that the subject is receiving the action. But in our sentence, our subject, the council, they're doing the action. They are the ones who are raising and sharing their concerns. And therefore we know was voiced is incorrect. So our answer is C. And that's it for today. If you wanna learn more about subject of verb agreement on the ACT and SAT, feel free to check out the other videos in this series. And for more practice problems like the ones that we use today and access to a 24-7 practice tool, check out ACIT at the link below. ACIT is the ultimate study tool for the SATs and ACTs created by Juni Learning, an award-winning tech company that has helped thousands of students take their learning to the next level. Get a week free trial when you use the link in the description below. Until next time. <laughs>